I want to look at one more problem involving systems of equations, specifically with elimination, because I want to demonstrate a trick that we can use and that we will use later when we're solving some word problems. So let's look at an example. Let's solve 3x plus 3y equals 18 and 5x minus 5y equals 10. Okay. Now, this would be a little bit challenging using elimination because if we wanted to eliminate the x's, if we look at the 3x and the 5x, 5x isn't a multiple of 3x, right? Here we have 5x. If we wanted to get the opposite of that, negative 5x, there's nothing nice we can multiply 3x by to end up with negative 5x. It's challenging because 5 is not a multiple of 3. The same is true with the y's. Negative 5 is not a multiple of 3. And so we want another tool that we can use to make this problem a little bit easier. And there is something that we can do to these equations to make things simpler. In the first equation, if you'll notice, 3x, 3y, and 18 are all multiples of 3. So we can simplify things by dividing both sides of that equation by 3. If we do that, 3x divided by 3 is x, 3y divided by 3 is y, and 18 divided by 3 is 6. We can do the same with the other equation. 5x, 5y, and 10 are all multiples of 5, so we can simplify this equation by dividing both sides by 5. So it's not just that we can multiply both sides by the same number, we can also divide both sides by the same number. This leaves us with x minus y equals 2. And now at this point we can easily use substitution or elimination. I'm going to use elimination because I think we could use more practice there. Let's line these up on top of each other. x plus y equals 6, x minus y equals 2 and add them together. x plus x is 2x. The y's cancel. The y's are eliminated. And then 6 plus 2 is 8. So we've got 2x equals 8. If we divide by 2, that gives us x equals 4. And then to find y, we can just substitute this back into any of the equations with x and y. I'm going to pick x plus y equals 6. I think that's the easiest one to do. We've got no coefficients, no negatives. Life is going to be simple. If we plug in 4, 4 plus y equals 6. Subtract 4 from both sides, and we get y equals 2. So we have our solution x equals 4 and y equals 2. Keep this division trick in mind later when we look at some application problems.